Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about Euler paths, Euler circuits, and Fleury's algorithm. So first let's just remind ourselves an Euler path is a path that uses every edge in the graph exactly once, doesn't repeat any edges. An Euler circuit is a circuit that does the same thing, uses every edge in the graph exactly once. Repeating vertices is okay, repeating edges is not okay. Okay, Euler's theorem. It tells us that a graph has an Euler circuit if and only if every vertex is even. Meaning every vertex has an even number of edges going into it. And a graph has an Euler path if and only if there are exactly two exactly two odd vertices so all even vertices has an Euler circuit only two odd vertices has an Euler path if there's one odd vertex or more than two odd vertices there's neither an Euler path nor an Euler circuit okay so sometimes you can find an Euler path or an Euler circuit by sort of guessing and checking and kind of just playing around with the graph. And what we're going to talk about here is Fleury's algorithm, which gives us a way to find an Euler path or Euler circuit without having to guess and check. It's a more direct way to do it. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to check that the graph is connected. And if we look at our example graph on the right, we see that it is, right? There's no way to redraw it where one component is not connected to another component by edges, so it is connected. And we're gonna check the degrees of the vertices. So we see that all of the corners have two, and all of these ones in the middle of the sides have one, two, three, four edges going into them. And all of these on the interior, each of those has two edges. So our vertices are all even, which means that we have an Euler circuit in this particular graph. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is choose a starting vertex for our graph. And if we have an Euler circuit, you can start at any vertex. If you have an Euler path, you have to start at one of the odd vertices. So the two odd vertices will be the start and end of the path. Okay, so here's our example graph again. And we saw that all of the vertices are even. So we have a circuit in this case, which means we can start at any vertex. And let's just choose to start here in the upper left hand corner. Okay. And then from that start, we're just going to start picking edges. But we want to be careful. There's one caveat here, which is do not choose an edge that is a bridge in the yet-to-be-traveled part of the graph. unless it's your only option. All right, and let's talk about what we mean here. Okay, so let's choose a more contrasting color, this red. All right, we're starting at this upper left-hand corner and we are gonna start going along some edges. So let's pick this one first, we're doing that one first, and let's we can choose any of these. Let's go up here second, we only have one option now, up here is third. 
And here's what we mean by a bridge in the yet to be traveled part of the graph. So on this particular vertex, there's three edges, one to the left, one to the right, and one diagonally down. And if we look at the black part of the graph, right, the edges that we haven't taken, if we were to remove this left-hand edge, it would leave that graph disconnected. We'd have all of this stuff down here and then this vertex at the top left over here. And less technically, well, if we were to take that edge to the left, now we're back at this top left vertex and we can't go anywhere. We're not allowed to repeat edges, so we're stuck. Okay, so that's what we mean. Just if you look at the graph, part of the graph that you haven't taken, don't take a bridge unless you have to. So we don't have to take this one, there are other options, and let's take those other options. So let's go here, four, we only have one option, five. Um, if we, we have three options here, but again, if we look at the black part of the graph, if we were to remove this edge, it would disconnect the graph. We'd have the part down here and the two edges. So we don't wanna take that one but we can take any of these. Let's go down six. We only have one option to the left is seven. And we can't go up to the right if we took this edge, right? That would disconnect the graph. It's a bridge. So we can go diagonally, which is eight. Let's go here, nine. We only have one option here, which is 10. And I should note, you know, on edges nine and 10, those were bridges, but they were the only option. And similarly, we see this edge here that we're about to take, it's a bridge in the yet to be traveled part of the graph. If we remove it, then we'll have this vertex and all these other edges, but it's the only option so we can go ahead and take it. And similarly, now we're gonna have all bridges, but they're the only options, so we go ahead and take them. And we're back to where we started. When you've used up all of your edges, then you're done. So here we've got our Euler circuit in this even degree graph. 